So, another tier list, RTA tier list, been a while for tier list, well actually not that long, but okay, so I'm gonna look a lot at the right side, and <laughs> if you say people saying rip, I just had to time out my guild leader because someone claimed timeout, whatever, happens. So I'm looking a lot to the right because my screen of like my chat is there. Um, I did pull that, some numbers, I got f two and a half K matches, which is not that much, but... It gives an indication of some of the win rates. I'm not gonna go that strictly of the win rates. F pretty funny thing is Molly is 37%, which is really fucking low. So apparently she's not that good here. But she's been like around that win rate for like all the time. So it actually doesn't fluctuate that much. But, yeah, interesting. Um, so besides that, it's also funny like some of the, like I'm just cleaving right now. But the thing is, it only works if it's really good ruined and otherwise it just doesn't work. Because for example, uh, <laughs> yeah, do not cleave if you don't have the good room quality or the correct team for it, because then it's terrible! Okay, so, same as the other tier list videos, I'm just gonna put them wherever. This is gonna be a tier list based on, I would say, like, G3, um, 4 star RTA, what I would say is best, and that's best to, um... It's like, the, the really important thing is have a really good counter cleave setup and then just a really good bruiser setup. And what I would say is actually what I've seen like the really top end people do, which works really well, is have full will runes because there's not too many AOE strippers. Like the only AOE strippers are necessarily cleavers. And if you counter cleaves, then the AOE strippers are not that good in general as well. So will runes is pretty a good thing. But the thing is, it's if everyone is will runes, is really good if one or two are missing then it's right away not that good anymore so those are just a few things and then just for some win rates what we see what's interesting friend is a lot higher win rate than triana but even though i feel like triana is a better unit to be honest so i'm not gonna go that straight of win rates figure is pretty high laura mina is pretty high and Terrace is actually reasonable high for a unit that's like spammed into like bad situations because some of those win rates uh, are higher than others because for example a diana win rate is more likely to be high because she's picked in a scenario where she's really good and antares is mostly a low win rate because she's he's picked in a scenario like oh i'm losing this draft might as well pick that so he's often then in a lost draft whereas other units are mostly in a positive winning draft so it's mostly like this panic units and panic units are often like low win rate but 74 is pretty high for antares actually Yen is pretty low. I tried that myself somewhat as well, but it's not that good. Molly is terribly low. I'm surprised. Molly, I, I expected Molly to do better, but I think Molly is not the correct answer to Cleaves, to be honest. Tablo is relatively low as well. I would expect Tablo to be really good. He's pretty low. Quadem is insanely low, and I'm not sure why that is. Like, let me know in chat what you guys think about Quadem, but I feel like he's one of the best units in this whole thing. Chillings there, Miho. Bernard is pretty good, but I would recommend to skill him up if you want to use him. Where's Asher? I think Asher's pretty high picked as well. Uh, Asher's pretty. Oh, Asher's fucking good. Asher's fucking good. Did you show Grego? Not yet. I haven't seen Grego. Grego's here. It's not that high win rate as well. Zarya's decent ish. Clara's really low. Amduet's also surprisingly low. Kinky is surprisingly. Not higher than this. Rogue is pretty high. Surprised about that. Eliana is decent. Lucian is pretty low. Lucas low. Iris low. Expected that. Garrow low. Yeah, you don't want a Garrow in here. Aegir. Pretty bad. Well, you guys remember A Aegir like meta? Aegir was like legit meta for like... I think like 2019 SWC. Around that time and before that. Mm, what else? Kicklets. Kamun really low. Yeah, Kamun doesn't really work. Olivia, Yang. Yeah, Draco. Like I just said, like if you have a cleave team and it's really good, it can work. If you don't have the runes, it just doesn't work. Too many guys pick Quadam plus four twins and they don't think it's a good team. It is a terrible team, yeah. 
I've seen Khwadam pick too many times into people who already have AoE damage dealers. True. Khwadam is also a panic pick. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, so let's continue. Wait, music died. Semi died. It's too far. Okay, um, Bearing pretty low, Megan very low. My lights pretty high, but we're getting at like the super low pick rates right now, so it's pretty odd. Like Ram Hunt 70. <laughs> it's picked too little to actually pick up like effective win rates because you also have like Harmonia 11, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's just get going. This is going to be a difficult tier list, not going to lie. Because it's not really a well-established meta or anything. It's, it's more random than anything. So I'm probably going to put units in. I will put the timestamps. But there's a big chance I will put, like go back and forth like multiple times of like upping and downing and stuff. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Only the Kinky, Kaki, Esuki, and Fuki are missing. Great names. Okay. Let's start off with Huadam. I think Huadam is one of the best units, but it has to be used correctly. And being used correctly means that it has to be put next to bruises and not against AoE damage dealers. And I think that Huadam is one of the best units. If you use Huadam with like Vigor, Triana, and then another like at least two armor breakers and stuff like that it's, it's really difficult to get through so i think 95 maybe even 100. for some reason i haven't seen too much armed words. can we stop with the ads boys i, I okay I, I think i have to fix the ads for a sec give, give me a second do, 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 do. Mr. Iframe with an ad, that's the display, that's the rail banner, mm, bye. Not bye, I said bye. Uh, the lead note, do we make contain? Yes, we, we have another of those rail banners, uh, bye. Now we don't have ads anymore. Uh -huh. Okay, Molly, I feel like Molly is actually not that good. I feel like Molly doesn't really Fit. Like, I feel like Molly is okay-ish, but it doesn't... Uh, I feel like she's also... Like, her win rate is really low. If we check that. But I feel like uh, this would be a bit too bad to put her, but I feel like she's not that good. Are you meant with Huadam? Yeah. Did you just delete code? Uh, yeah, I removed the ads client side. Because I use Firefox to actually um, go to websites that have ads. And so, yeah, it doesn't make sense to remove ads. And then also my Firefox is kind of more clean without passwords and like weird shit than my Google Chrome, which I use normally. So I don't want to put AdWalker on Firefox. Um, Mr. Not Malaka Dover. I think Dover is, if you want to go bombers, I feel like he's one of the better bombers. How did you do it? Uh, it's just inspecting elements. It's uh, You cannot see the right mouse click here. If you go like right mouse click, expect elements, you can change like code and then you know you need to know what to look for. It's just diffs in HTML. Okay, too much side tracking. Oh man, this tier list is so difficult. I feel like... Um, let's pull in some, some units. Let's pull in some more units and then start like match and matching because with the normal tier list, I really have an idea like what's better than what. But this is, it's so messy. It's like all over the place with all of these units. Triana, I feel like Triana is one of the best because Triana is really good first pick. But I don't put her 100 because of win rate stand. Asher 100, I, f I agree with that actually. I do actually agree with that. Uh, Furt is picked pretty often. Let's drag him up there. I feel like Furt is... Furt is pretty good. Do we have more ads? Go away!
straight or crit damage HP with some Aki, uh, quite some crit rate and you can even go speed HP HP and then you have, just have to do artifacts, damage from speed, damage from HP. Also this tier list is not necessarily based on like cleaves. Not because I don't like cleaves, I'm running a cleave right now, I kind of don't like cleaves, but uh, it would just, it's hard to fit it in because it's really rune dependent. Like the cleaves are insanely rune dependent because people are using the exact same cleave as I do and they can barely reach like C2 with like okay-ish runes. They're not even bad runes, so. Uh, Elusia, I feel like Elusia probably has a decent win rate too. I would be surprised if it's below 55. It's, yeah. 58. 58. It's pretty high. Yeah, I would say here it's, it's not vigor level, but it's it's pretty high up. Because the amount of immunity providers, like actually the only amount of immunity providers are Fran, Lulu, Triana, and then maybe a few side units like Iliana here and there. The only cleave is defense one. No, actually the Clara cleave it works. Like Clara, Gemini, that kind of stuff. It works, but you need crazy room calling. The kinky win rate, about 50-ish. Yeah, it's, it's not that high. I kind of expect it higher as well. I'm going to do like them all the way at the end. Because I'm going to use like placeholder units again. Otherwise, people are going to be like, eh, what is this unit? So, um, okay, let's see some other units. Mina is actually a really good unit. If you give her your best Vio speed crit damage attack set, Vio will, she's really good. And it also shines in her... Yeah, it shines in her win rate as well. I would actually feel this, but she's picked less. She's not as versatile, like, figure you can pick into everything, Mina you cannot pick into everything. So okay, min minus one on that one. Miho, Miho is pretty good in here. She doesn't have too many counters because you can't like CR it. You can still kink your uh, Kaki it and stuff, which is pretty good. But I think Miho general win rate is also well, it's not that high. But it's again like a, la a good last pick. It's definitely a unit you have to ru have rune up. But no, I think I one down you and I one up you because I feel like you're pretty good actually in what you do. And I feel like I one up you as well. And, and this is. Fine, yes. Oh man, timestamps are gonna be a bitch on this one. I might not do timestamps at all, actually. Amdoet is really good, but more situational. So Amdoet is better in what he does than a figure, but Amdoet you cannot pick in every match. Miho 100% dress. Uh, Miho is also often, um, yeah, that's true. And 100% rest one, yeah, one of you. I think it's better than Molly. Yeah, I'm one of you. One of you. For some reason, we don't really see um, the what's it called? I just saw him. The light Anubis. Armana. I would feel Armana is a good unit, but I feel like it's not picked much. Nice, oh, like he's not even on the list, so he's barely used. Interesting. Well, if you're not on the list, you're not on my list. Get the fuck out of here. Sion. Sion is something people are using. I would say Sion is similar level as this. They do different things there for different scenarios, but. Yeah. Yen win rate, it's pretty low actually. Yen, you, I think it's too proc dependent. And the artifacts don't scale that well on her. It's just crit damage as one, crit damage as two. Kamon is used, but that's one of those bad units. Like, you just pick it for speed, lead. It's, it's not that great. Yeah, I think revive units in RT are just not that great. Garrow is also a unit you do not want to pick. Garrow is just hard counted. Like, 
look at this what, what's multi-hitting 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 uh multi 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 all of uh, everything is multi-hit you don't want to pick garo in this shit garo's terrible we'll almost give you trash there. i'll probably put nothing in trash there that's actually picked but um this guy he's pretty interesting because of his resistance lead his resistance lead put him like pretty pretty high up and his base stats are a bit weird it's really high on hp but his resistance lead make him makes him pretty good his win rate it isn't too high but i'm not gonna take these win rates too literally because i didn't check that many matches it's just like a backup idea if i don't know about a unit but Um, I feel like Beta is also one of those units that's just really good. Basically, Japanese no Japanese cleave is terrible. Japanese cleave is actually terrible. Uh, the Clara cleave is a lot better. Do, do, do. Okay, what other of these are used? Raok is used sometimes. But I feel like Raok is just just a cleave unit. I don't really feel like you bruise it with Ra'og that much. I think you could, but I'm not really sure if you would want to. But if you ruin up a good Ra'og, I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. So, I just want to get rid of all of the... People don't really use Naomi, people don't use this, people don't... I've seen one person use the fucking light Warbear, but... It was not that great. Bella, you could use. Like, legit. I would pick Bella. Like, if you have troubles against Cleaves in the 4 star RTA, I would make Bella triple them. Like, people go like the. the, the uh, what's it called? Like, the Gemini Cleaves and that kind of stuff? Or, like, Lucian kind of Cleaves? Triple them Bellas? Triple Nam Bella is fucking solid. It's, it's pretty legit. But even like just Bella's kit in general via will is pretty legit because you have armor breaks, you have strips, you have heals, you have boosts. It's, it's it's a pretty solid kit actually. It's just it's the same as Steel Mars. People don't want to use it anymore, but it's actually not a bad unit. The fire bear is okay. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it used that much to be honest. I don't think it's even on the list. I don't even know what his name is to be honest. Yeah. Riggle should be at least 60. Yeah, Riggle would be on the list, but I don't value Riggle that high. Risha. Yeah, that could be Risha. Are you on the list? Nope, not on the list. That's shy. The Sills. Okay, let's look at the Sills. Oh, well, let's look at all of the four stars, actually. I think Mi Yang is actually pretty decent as well. It's not the greatest, but Mi Yang can be... I think it's pretty, like, rune quality dependent, but can be a pretty solid unit. Mi Yang 48. Well, that's not that low, but I, 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 feel, I feel that she... Maybe one down. Yeah, one down. One down, one down. But I feel like she could be solid. This one, Lexi. Does Lexi have a decent win rate? Or actually pick rate? Lexi is pretty... Well, it's barely pick, but I feel like Lexi could be pretty legit. Because Lexi armor breaks the moment an, uh, the enemy healed 10 times. And if you AoE with, like, uh, Fran and Vigor, that's already 8. So, I feel like she's not used that much, but I feel she could be pretty decent. Like, let's say they have... Uh, Lulu and friends, Fran and Triana, plus one. They start healing a lot, and at some point you can just one-shot to Triana or something. So I, I feel like she has her usage. <laughs> Clara. Yeah, Clara is just... I think it just works for Cleaves. I'm not sure if you can actually bruise with Clara. So in Cleaves, yes, she's really good, but... In overall, I'm, I'm not necessarily really looking like Cleaves. Against Molly. Oh yeah, against Molly, she's really good. Against Molly, she's pretty good, yeah. Um, but yeah, Clara, good for Cleaves. 
I feel like overall could be good, but you need like good, good room quality on her to actually shine. Um, wait, music still going? Music still going. The Sylphs. Well, it's mainly Shimite. I feel like Shimite. I'm, I'm not gonna place there, but Shimite. Pretty decent win rate. I would put Shimite up here because it's one of the few 24 speed leads. It's pretty versatile, has a crazy amount of damage. It is squishy though. It's very, very squishy, but I feel that's a very solid unit. Now, because of you, you're one of the few 24 speed leads that can be used a lot, I'll put you there. Orion is one of those units. If you really want to, like, if you feel lucky, you pick Orion, but otherwise, don't pick Orion. What's his win rate, actually? Yeah, Orion, like 40. Not surprised. Same so, with, like, Julie and that kind of stuff. I, I just put her on, like, Cleave tier, because I don't necessarily count this really good unless you have, like, freaking crazy room quality, and then it's suddenly insanely good, but until then, it's not that great. Okay, uh, Liches. <laughs> <laughs> Bop. Okay, we're done. We're done with the tier list. We can go home. We can post this on Reddit. We're done. We're done. No, I'm joking. Um, I feel on Terrace is fucking legit though. I feel Antares is uh, really legit. It's a legit counter pick, but you can also pick it fucking very fucking early. It's fucking good. It's actually fucking good. Antares is insanely good in the four star, and his win rate is not the highest, but he's often a panic pick and picked into like really bad situations and still has a decent win rate. Antares is really good. So I wouldn't put, I think I'm not going to put anyone else than Asheron 100, but Antares, solid 95. Maybe 90, but I feel like 95 is pretty solid. Ta to the blue. Tablo Escobar. Tablo Escobar is also 95. And that doesn't need that much explanation. Very solid 24 lead. Can do a lot of shit. RNG is fuck. Tablo Escobar is up there. Riggle. I'm not sure what the win rate is, but I don't really feel Riggle being so good. Riggle 46, but low pick rate. Um, no. I think I'll leave it like that. Hmm. Another 19 lead to Tyrone, but I feel like Tyrone is not that good. Tyrone, 43, so she's not that bad. Also not that good. Neck hurts. Hyun Young. Hyun Young barely has any uh, pick rate, but I feel like it's still just a cleaver. But I feel like she's not bad as a cleaver. It's actually pretty solid cleaver. It is actually pretty solid cleaver. That's why I put it up there. Uh, I also feel like the bulldozer cleave can be pretty good. So bulldozer is actually not a bad. I feel like copper is worse, bulldozer performs better. I one up you as well. You're you're better than that. I think Chloe is a very legit but last pick. I think it's only a good last pick, but I think it's a very legit last pick. Yeah, close to 50. 
because it really contests like the enemy speed, but it also contests that if they want to CC anything. So snipers are solid in one shot comps. Uh, I feel like the only snipers that I would see the fire one is to RNG. You don't want that for RTA. I wouldn't recommend it, but the water one is pretty legit. Are people using Fedora? Nope, so I don't have to put it on the list. Haha. <clears throat> We got a tier 1 with the rigs! Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Susano on the list. Nope! Icarus Arnold. I've seen people use Icarus, but Icarus is Bad shit. I don't like Icarus. I don't really feel like that shit just works in RT. Oh, wait, here we have snipers. This one, Magnum is still pretty solid. Counter Cleese. Um, it's often a must ban. Like, if people go Cleave, it, it is a pretty must ban. Like, if people go, like, whatever Cleave, it's pretty must ban. So it does good for where it's worth. No, that's. That's. No. Yes, this guy. I think you're pretty solid for what you do as well. But you do need to do enough damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People use you, but people should not be using you. Gemini. Uh, Gemini is Gucci for the cleave, but besides that, terrible. Harmonia, I feel like Harmonia is also... I feel like Harmonia only works because of Molong and normal RTA. Besides that, one of those units you don't really want to use.
not that great. Like many of the Ikaris couldn't even one shot my me here. Like they did like 22, 23k damage to survive. I'm like, what the, what the fuck is this shit? And it only gets weaker. Like most units get stronger throughout the match. She gets weaker. Yeah. Ashbel, what's Ashbel win rate? Okay, first Ikaris win rate. Ikaris was 40, uh, shoot. People don't use Ashbel, 44 for Ashbel. Uh, it doesn't add too much, to be honest. Ranuki! people use it because I'm pretty sure she's not on the list I see some people use Abigail
But oh yeah, it's it's just anything that shows up in best. So anything that showed up in best while I was refreshing the best list came up there. Are twins in already? Nope, not yet. Ranuki, let's just place Ranuki, but I think Ranuki doesn't have that much spot here. here. Um twins. Oh, this is the Dark Kung Fu Girl. Dark Kung Fu Girl can be decent, but I don't feel like too great. Mm -mm -mm. Draco is pretty uh, terrible. Pretty sure it's fucking low in, right? <laughs> yes, sir! Let's go! Twins. Okay, let's fit in some twins. Oh man, these twi twins are just cleaves. Oh yeah, they're the kung fu, but it, it's it's the it's the Chen Li. That's what I mean, kung fu. She's kind of kung fu. Is she? I don't know. Um, twins. It's just Shina Martina. And they're bad. Like I legit feel like the Shina Martina cleave is bad. Just gonna put Shina Martina there, and then people understand, right? Where did Martina go? Find the Martina. Yeah, it's probably the bitrate. I don't stream on that high bitrate. Because my internet is shit. So I might as well not push it too much. Iris... Don't feel like. Where's Iris? Oh, 48. But it's higher than I thought. Okay, it's higher than I thought. Maybe I undervalue her. Well, it's actually a decent less pick if you have like heavy immunities. <laughs> yeah, I think the tier list is pretty much already close to finished. So much easier because there's not too many units. Oh, Yen is pretty often used. It's a pretty good unit, but it's not that high win rate. Yeah, Iris is pretty random. Yeah, she could like stun everything the whole time, or she could do like pretty much nothing. I've seen some people use this, which was actually pretty good. Like, this thing can cycle like an Aegir, pretty much. It's not that crazy, but... I feel like he's pretty decent. Another cleave unit. Up there. Garudas. I got the Succubuses in, at least the main ones. I think the Garudas are not used. Okay, I'm just gonna put units that I put in that are here. So I have to put, like, Kaki and stuff, but I will... Use like a different unit for that. Chilling I didn't put in yet. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Ah, uh, Faye. I also have to put in Faye later. But I, Faye is so fucking terrible. Faye is legit fucking fucking terrible. Because she, 9 out of 10 she's not gonna fucking crit anything you want. She's not gonna ignore defense anything you want. It's just gonna be straight up freaking terrible. Yeah, nice 24 lead but... It's really I, I used for some seasons in special league. Okay, one up for this for the leader skill. But she is if you want to get tilted, you use Faye. If you want to tilt your own face, use Faye. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Um, I said chilling, chilling. I feel like chilling is not a great unit. Also, win rate kind of reflects that, but it can be used here and there. But it's not too great. 42. I think I won down you because you're just not that great. Jin. I'm not sure if Jin or Thrain are on the list though. I'm just gonna go like list. Top to bottom. Put you in already. Put you in. Put you in. Put Lucas in. Yep. Garrow. Grossfeld. Well, I have to put you in because you're on the list. You're just a cleave unit. 
Well, actually, besides just the cleave unit, you could also use it on this pair, which is not that bad. Uh, this pair, Grossfeld, is actually not that bad. Riggle I put in there, Aegir I put in there, Orion, Gemini, Faye, Ashberg, Glit, Kumon, Olivia, I think, don't think I put Olivia in there yet. Neo Storm, F, Agent. Mm, she's pretty much just used for cleaves though, but I feel like she's she's better than Demesty, she's more important than Demesty. Drake Suzuki, Bulldoze, yes, yes, Bearing. Didn't put in Bearing yet. Cobalt Bomber. Not a unit I really recommend to use, to be honest. What's the win rate on you? Yes, not that high. You already put in Megan. Oh, please, no. Ugh, nee. What are you? Uh. You are on this tier. Arya, I think I put Arya here. Oh no, wait, it's Akia. Who's Arya? I don't see Arya. Arya is not on the list. This is Akia. Chris Covenant, yes, Malight. I have to put in Malight. A poor guy. Malight can be pretty good. Malight can actually be pretty good. Wait, what's the Malight win rate? Ooh, that's high. Yeah, I feel like many people don't have her ruined up. Of him ruined up. I think it's him, Gargo. The guy, I guess? I don't know. Thrain is better than the over less bursts. Is Thrain even used? Thrain is used. Thrain is used. We'll get to Thrain then. Let's think about Thrain. Is Thrain better than Dover? Nope. Is he better than this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I would say... I would say Thrain is here. I'd say he's less. He's less good. Use a good counter to Hwadam. Yeah, let's see someone goes like Hwadam, this, this, this. Those four. Fifth pick is Ben. You go Thrain. Do you annihilate this? I would still rather put Dover there than Thrain, but I can see his use. That's one of him. That's one of him. I would use Malite. So Malite is pretty annoying if they don't have any will. If they don't have any will, you could technically cycle non-stop provokes. Beta is on the list. Why would you even use Beta? I did sometimes actually. Counter ca uh, third counts it though. Yeah, true, true. What about four star good the up yeah will be funny. But uh, I don't feel like it's that special. But uh it's not bad. But... I think it's better actually because there's not too many units with immunity. Ramahan. Did I pick Ramahan yet? Don't think so. Ramahan is just another cleaving a Monday. Abigail I put in there. Isla. Isilia. That's the fire fairy, isn't it? Pretty sure it's the fire fairy. Which is not bad. You can do a lot of damage with her on artifacts though. Maybe she's actually not that bad. I 
I'm not sure if that one was the Fire Fairy, but Fire Fairy is actually not the map. Don't know the name. Guillaume or also Guillaume. I have still no clue how you get from this to saying Guillaume, but whatever. French people. French language. French language. Beats moi. I fought him a few times and he was actually pretty terrible. Like his passive barely procs at the time you care about it. Magnum, whoa, that's fucking low win rate. Holy Jesus. Is, is Magnum that bad? I feel like Magnum is not bad. Is he? I don't know. Any Magnum owners out there, is he that bad? <laughs> Like, I don't own him, so I think he's good, but could be wrong. That's already in there. Dusky. I think this is pretty decent. Magnum is a great unit when I pick correctly. Yeah, I think often he's a must ban, right? And I think must bans are pretty legit. Yeah. Must ban, like. He's maybe not as dangerous in the match, but he's dangerous in pick and ban, and therefore he's good. Uh, that was 60%. Yeah, don't look at these win rates. The pick rate is too low, so it, it barely means anything. I'm getting tired. Oh, my, it's almost 5 a.m. So it's normal time to get tired, I would say. So yeah, from these units, which do I actually feel like people actually use it? I would put Dusky in because I don't think he's that bad. Mr. Jack O'Lantern. But he's also not that great. Yeah, I'm uh, six hours ahead here. So it's a nice time to go to bed. I think I put in most of the... Yeah, I could still put in some units like some people use. Like some people use Jin, some people use like Teon. That kind of jazz, like all of these units, they don't have that much use, like Malaka, uh, you could use it, but... The pick rate is really low, so I feel like this tier list makes a lot of sense. That's why, well, I'm plus six for uh, Europeans. The, the, of course, plus six mix depends on where you are. But... Show me, he's all the way at the bottom. It's 26. This is jump my face in front of it. I didn't expect Molly to be so low. Yeah, Molly is actually pretty low because of low. Uh, the win rate of Molly is pretty low. For some reason Molly just doesn't like if you think about it Molly is pretty hard countered by figure and figure is often on the enemy team sure people could go like uh, Molly plus figure but then it's probably susceptible to bombs I'm not sure I'm not sure what this makes Molly a really low win rate but I feel like these if you want to play like solid, you actually play like 85 plus. Like you have all your, at least like three or f uh, like, unless you cleave in any way, I would say at least pick like three to four units out of the 85 plus. Which of course are like a bunch of like free to play stuff and you're probably going to compete over like Triana's figures, friends. But if your whole team is like 85 plus, I think you have very solid teams. Maybe I won down you because 
people should be using you. The only two I don't really feel like in this are Isaria and Abigail. Yeah, I think I'm one down in both of you because just way lower pick rates or win rates than this. Uh, this she pushed back. She also has like a bunch of like uh, probably against no immunities, which is a bit random on her S two, but it does a lot of damage because of you can put it, the her multi hits like eight on that second skill, which is crazy. In regular, she heals beefy bruises. Fair, fair. Yeah, I think Molly would often end up healing some squishy unit, like twenty five percent on Mina is not that much, for example. Yeah, I think the tier list makes quite some sense. Oh, yeah. Good that you say it. I'm missing the khakis, the kinkies, and the thingies. So, um, I'm going to use the most obnoxious weird as in that 5 to represent those. People are going to question, why did you pick those? Um, what is close to a samurai thingy, whatever... I'm just gonna use the strikers. Fuck it. Just use the strikers. So strikers are the Onimushas. Pandas. Pandas are actually pretty close, yeah. Are they? Yeah, relatively. Slayers. Yeah, I think slayers are strikers. That was my idea. <laughs> Light <laughs> art masses. Art masses are pretty far off. Let's just do let's just do fucking strikers. Fuck it. Doesn't matter all too much. So Dark One is a net five. <laughs> Jokes on me. Okay, kinky. That's not kinky. Yeah, yeah. That's an Asima. Kinky. I feel kinky is pre 90. Why not summarize? Because summarize could actually be picked. That's the issue. <laughs> so I think kinky is 90. I think kinky is maybe. The win rate of kinky is not that high, but. I feel like maybe it just spammed into wrong matches. I don't know. I feel like Kinky's pretty good. Yeah, Kinky's pretty 90. Too much confusion. Um Then we go for Kaki. I feel Kaki is worse. I'm not sure if I'm gonna place it there. Kaki 42, pretty high pick rates. Where's Frigate on the list? Not on the list. Frigate's not being used. Just use Asher. <laughs> yeah. 50. Everything that's not on the list is like lower than low pick rate. Something like that. Kinky has the issue that it's contributing 4v4 fight. True, true. Kinky often does nothing in the 4v4. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's why Kinky should one down, because in the 4v4 he's not that great. I agree. I agree. And I feel like this makes sense. What is Ben is asked? But he does have potential to 1v4. It's 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 one of those units that you fear it more in the draft. It, it's like Daphnis back in the days. Daphnis back in the days, like, oh, I gotta ban Daphnis because it might one shot, but it's probably not. Like, same as Kaki, or same as like when people just started using Mio. It's like Mio could solo the whole team. It's probably not, but it could. So I, I think it's Kaki or, or Kinky is pretty on the same level. Kaki is lower than that. Um. I feel Suki, I've seen um, Taki play with it, I have too many keys, but I feel Suki is actually freaking legit. Like I saw the damage on that thing when it was on max stacks and getting max stacks takes a lot of time. But the moment, let's say you go like Suki, Fran, Triana, 
um, Huadam or something or Vigor. Let's say you have these three units. Well, if someone actually gives you that. But if, let's say you go Suki plus like a few bruisers and they also go a few bruisers. You... Yeah, that's... I, I feel like this unit is pretty on a uh, khaki level actually. Even though both of them don't have too high... But you, you need them max skilled. That's the that's the issue. You need them max skilled. Otherwise, you're not landing these fucking armor breaks, which you need. Yeah, I, I feel like Suki might actually in four star RTA might actually be better. It's it's that not that many people use it, so I'm not sure if I can get away with it. But I would actually feel like Suki because it's that much of a bruiser meta. Like in 5 star RTA he's not gonna shine that much. You, you're you not gonna bruise it that much. It's not gonna be that bullshit. Because any AoE cleave would just like fucking like wipe his ass. But I feel like in this bru Like look at all of these units. This is just turn taking, cycling, slow ass whatever fuck shit. That Suki actually becomes really good. So the win rate is low. But I think people are just using it wrong moment. Like if this meta would go on for like two more months. Like if you actually have four stuff for two more months. I feel like he would be up there. Definitely. So just going to put it on the bucket. Uh, Asher, someone was asking. Asher is 60. Asher is fucking legit, man. Asher is insane. You need some good Shirun quality on that, but Asher is... Okay, I think that's it for this video. I guess I'll have a lot of work with time steps again. Okay, let's save this bad boy.